In the ongoing investigation, led by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis into Donald Trump's alleged attempts to manipulate the 2020 presidential election results in Georgia, former Trump attorney Sidney Powell has recently pleaded guilty. This development prompted the former president to speak out on Sunday. Sidney Powell, one of the 18 individuals indicted alongside Trump, pleaded guilty to six misdemeanor counts of conspiracy to commit intentional interference with the performance of election duties on Thursday. As part of her plea agreement, Powell agreed to provide documents and testify against the other defendants, including Trump, in their trial. She received a sentence of six years probation and was ordered to pay a $6,000 fine and $2,700 in restitution to Georgia. Trump, on the other hand, maintains his innocence in the case and has pleaded not guilty. On his Truth Social platform, Trump seemingly defended Powell, who has repeatedly made unfounded claims about the 2020 election being stolen through widespread voter fraud. The former president wrote, Sidney Powell was one of millions and millions of people who thought, and in ever-increasing numbers still think, correctly, that the 2020 presidential election was rigged and stolen, and our country is being absolutely destroyed because of it. In his social media post, Trump criticized news reports and clarified that Powell was never his attorney. He also commended her for her representation of Michael Flynn, a retired U.S. Army lieutenant general and former national security adviser to Trump. Trump added, despite the fake news reports to the contrary, and without even reaching out to ask the Trump campaign, M.S. Powell was not my attorney, and never was. In fact, she would have been conflicted. Ms. Powell did a valiant job of representing a very unfairly treated and governmentally abused General Mike Flynn, but to no avail. With both Powell and Kenneth Casebro pleading guilty, legal experts have pointed out the potential implications for Trump in the ongoing case. Former U.S. Attorney Joyce White Vance expressed on X, formerly Twitter, that if Powell is cooperating, it could be detrimental for Trump. Attorney Neil Kutyal also noted that these no-jail plea deals represent bad news for Trump, as they involve lawyers he handpicked who now appear to be cooperating and willing to testify against him. Meanwhile, former federal prosecutor Gene Rossi characterized the plea deal as another bad day for the former president, suggesting that the attorneys who pleaded guilty could become powerful witnesses against Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and others facing charges. The guilty pleas of Powell and Casebro have added significant complexity to the legal challenges Trump faces, and the repercussions remain to be seen as the case unfolds.